While Ace and John stayed on the rocks below, George went up the hillside in the direction he felt the lions might be. 5,000 miles is a long way to see a friend who perhaps could have forgotten them. Mona and Lisa, Christian's new friends, were with him as he plodded forward, showing no recognition. Christian hesitated. A once familiar face. Then... of feeling, acceptance, friendship, was infectious. Introduction was unnecessary. really was the good old days, without all those tiresome words and exaggerations that the passing of time permits to creep in. How seldom in life are we free enough just to sit, just to enjoy friendship? They had a year of Christian's life to learn about, a year of experiences they'd missed, but the old familiarity still survived. Not only could they sit quietly in the shade, but they found that through Christian, they were accepted by Mona, Lisa, and even Supercum. west coast of England, in a small zoo, live Christian's parents, Butch of Holland and Mary of Israel. They will probably spend all their lives here, unless they're sold to another zoo. This is where Christian was born and spent the first weeks of his life. That is, until he was sold to the London department store, where Ace and John first saw him. If you're not behind bars, life can always be an adventure. Christian, now king of the pride, runs the risk of injury or early death, but he has the chance of finding some happiness too. He's travelled from the wrong end of the King's Road in London to the start of the right road in Africa. Is it the right road for Christian? As yet no one can say. While life continues, no one knows the end. Only fairy tales have endings. The story is about a girl, the Christian life. 